So you want to hear a funny story about what happened to me going to the sale in Indianapolis here a couple weeks ago? Well, I call it the story of the purple boots. I got a pair of really nice baby blue pie cow cart Anderson Bean handmade boots that I'm very proud of and I like them. They're dress boots. They're kind of a baby blue color and they match my blue jeans and one of my favorite pairs of boots that I have. And uh, so I'm on my way to Indianapolis. I get it checked into the hotel room up there. Big old swanky, fan, swanky, big old fancy swanky place. And then I'm walking to the elevator and there's a shoe shine guy. Well, what's a guy with boots do? He gets his boots shine. So he asked the guy, can you shine these boots? He said, yes, absolutely. And I said, do you have any blue shot polish? He said, absolutely. So I kicked him off, went barefoot up the stairs to my room, and about an hour later, I come back down, and you're not gonna believe what happened. Now, I come from a place where boots are hand spit, shined, and polished, and you know we know how to take care of boots. But obviously, this cat in the lobby of the hotel in Indianapolis, Indiana did not have an idea what he was doing. He had painter's tape wrapped around the soles of the boots and he had literally took a machine a die, like a little die grinder and ground these boots down and dyed them purple. No, I'm not talking about polish. I'm talking about dye. He literally took leather dye and took a baby boot pair of boots and turned them purple. And I'm not talking about light purple. I'm talking about Barney purple. I love you. And I had just about had heart failure. You know, I'm 57. I love my boots. And then they take and turn them purple. And it's the only pair of boots I got all weekend is another thing. I look at him and I go, who in the world told you to do that? He said, well, I just wanted to clean them up for you. And I said, well, nobody told you to dye a pair of blue boots purple. He said, well, I thought you wanted them blue. I said, well, that's not blue. You're colorblind. And then you dyed them. They're not even supposed to look like that. He said, well, I don't need this. And I said, well, I really don't either. So I went straight to the manager. I didn't argue with the guy. Walked back there and the manager goes, oh my God. And I said, I know. I've got 15 minutes to go eat dinner and I'm gonna walk around and look to, you know, I got platypus feet, these big old boots on that look purple, like Barney. So I walk out of the deal, I'm upset. I have nothing but purple boots to wear. And I got this band. Now I've been riding around in Indianapolis and out of every three or four, three out of every four Ubers I get is a piece of junk. And sure enough, it's that afternoon I get a red Sienna band with a guy that won't turn the air conditioner on and keeps the windows up and he screams all the time. Guys, this is Mark. I am a longtime friend of J.D. Pass. He's always got interesting stories. He's one of the most interesting characters in the whole classic car business. But today I got a little story to share um, about J.D. and his boots. If you know J.D., hats and boots are a big, big, big deal, as they should be. And the story kind of revolves a little bit around that. So, oh, so about 7.20, J.D., text me saying hey i got a car for us out front let's meet down at 7 30 and we'll go out i said fine now me if you know me i'm always running a little late so i got ready and i got down to the lobby about 7 45 look around the lobby didn't see jd looked out to the front and i see he's sitting in a minivan I would say it was like a toyota sienna or something i see the door open i see jd i walk out I, I see JD and he says, what's up? Here's the car. I get into the, into the minivan in the back seat, sit in the seat right next to JD. JD closes the door and immediately I look down and JD has purple, purple cowboy boots on. And I just got a chuckle, didn't really say anything. Um, JD knows I'm the kind of guy that also will always notice, um, always will notice somebody's shoes so immediately of course he knows i notice his shoes and i go jd why do you what what what's going on he goes you're never gonna believe this but i gave my shoes to that shoe shine guy and this is what happened i go you gotta be kidding me this, this did not happen he goes yes i came down to the lobby and my shoes were purple I talked to the girl, the manager, told her, look at this shoe, look what your guy did to my shoes, which 
even she agreed that that was not right. That's not good. JD then told her that it's a pretty expensive pair of shoes. And the funniest part of that is JD didn't bring any other pair of shoes. Can't do this. I'm thinking to myself, I can't do this all weekend. I've got five more days. It's the only pair of boots I got. Nobody has boots. It's eight o'clock in the afternoon. What am I going to do? And I always tell my daughter and I tell everybody that works for me, think outside the box, figure out how to get it done. So I did. I picked up the phone and found a little old business that was a little hometown barn one time that had boots and then they went public, a big company, and I never thought with corporate policy I'd ever get it done, but I picked up the phone, I called Boot Barn. I said, hey, do you have this baby blue pair of uh, boots that I need to wear in a size 10 and a half? And this young boy named Kyle says, yes sir, yes sir, yes sir, yes sir. But they're not baby blue and they're not Anderson Bean, they're brown and they're Cody James. And I said, well, man, anything will work besides these purple boots right now. Can I just pay you on the phone? And he said, well, we can't do that. We have to go to the website, but you can just build them through our store. And I said, okay, well, let me talk to your manager. And the manager says, yes, sir, can I help you? And I said, well, this is what happened. She goes, oh my God, I can't believe your boots were dyed purple. I said, no, I can't either, but you've got these boots and you're gonna close in just a few minutes. If I give Kyle $100, can he deliver those boots to me where I'm eating dinner? Because he said he's just about 30 minutes from where I'm eating dinner at tonight. She said, absolutely. We'll be more than glad to help accommodate you, Mr. Pass. So I'm tickled to death. I've got a pair of boots. I walk into this place with these purple boots and everybody's staring at me like they think I'm a cross-dresser. And then all of a sudden, the next thing I know, this young man comes in, brand new box of boots. I get to put them on at the dinner table. Oh, they are so good. And the first thing Kyle does when he sees the old boots is go, oh my God. Everybody says, oh my God, when they see these purple boots. So I got my purple boots on. I'm sitting there thinking about it all. I leave. I go out on town at night. We all have boots. I don't have to walk around with purple boots all weekend. And that's all because some forward thinking people in a small business that turned into a corporate business that still thought outside the box and believed in customer service. And that's Boot Barn. Now here at the vault, we, cre we preach customer service, continuing with people after the sale, making sure they're satisfied and everything else. And that's just exactly what this young Kyle would, young man did. He made sure we got our boots. He made sure I put them on and I had them at dinner table. He made sure the next day that I was okay. So I went by the store to thank the manager. And when I went by the store, I walked in the door and believe it or not, they were teaching customer service to the people that were working in their office or working in their business. So at the end of the day, it was a wonderful experience. Boot Barn, thank you, big shout out for a wonderful. So if you need any kind of Western wear boots and you want to feel like you're getting that good old hometown feeling, but from a big store, go buy your local Boot Barn. I guarantee if they're thinking outside the box to help me, they're going to find some way to satisfy you. Boot Barn and The Ball. Check us out on the web, theballtms.com.